It was cold. <laughs> I wonder if I can sleep bundled up in this blanket the whole time. Today I am reviewing The Duff by Cody Keplinger. And I am going to give it, I think, three out of five stars. The Duff is about a girl named Bianca who happens to be the less attractive, less skinny person in her group of friends. And she isn't really aware of this until she has a conversation with this hot jerk where he basically tells her that she is this person and that it's called the Duff, the designated ugly fat friend. It basically just starts off with her at this teenager's nightclub thing where he says that he wants to talk to her because hot girls think it's sweet when he takes an interest in the Duff. And so she obviously hates him even more than normally, right away. But then, uh, like, some stuff happens in her life. She has a few, you know, personal issues that she has to deal with. And getting over these issues is difficult for her. And she starts to kind of not hate this attractive jerk as much as she did, or she still hates him, but she also has this, like, sexual attraction to him <laughs> that kind of, you know, helps her deal with what's going on. And so it's basically just about her dealing with her life problems and having some sexy times <laughs> with this hot jerk and, you know, coming to terms with the fact that she's like using him and you know trying to figure out if she actually is using him or if she does have feelings for him all that wonderful stuff i definitely enjoyed this story i thought it was cute and it was fun and interesting and it was just one of those books that was easy to read it was just easy to to not want to put it down like i would be reading it and not realize i had read for two hours and i'm like oh wow i was just reading for two hours straight so it was definitely enjoyable but it wasn't I don't know, I feel like it was m it was missing something. I'm not really sure what. I feel like there's just some factor that it didn't have. Like, I don't know. It wasn't, like it wasn't deep or anything, but this isn't like a story that was meant to be deep. I just feel like there was some kind of aspect that could have made the story a little bit stronger, but I can't pinpoint what it is, really. Um, one thing I think that made me kind of rate it three stars is the fact that everything kind of got resolved and wrapped up really, really quickly, and it all seemed really easy to me. Um, it just seemed like the ending of a really cheesy movie, how it's just like, oh, like, poof, all of a sudden our problems are gone, with an easy explanation, and I didn't really have to work hard to figure anything out, and I realized my whole life meaning in three seconds <laughs> kind of thing. It just had that kind of feeling where it was just like, oh poof, the end. It's not like it was a disappointing ending, it just was really fast and really easy feeling to me. I did really like Wesley though, the hot jerk. Uh, he definitely grows on you, he is not so much of a jerk, and you can definitely see that throughout the story as the story progresses. He definitely has a soft side to him. and. It, he was actually really sweet in some parts, and I really enjoyed reading about him. Overall, this was definitely an enjoyable read. I'm glad that I picked it up. It was definitely a pleasure to get through. It just wasn't really anything that stood out in my mind as an amazing book or something spectacular or fabulous, but definitely a good read and a lot of fun. Cody Clap...